y'all. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another reading. Thank you guys for always supporting me, okay? Um, I have some meditation music playing in the back and also I have my fan on. It was literally like 110 degrees outside and once I got done running around, you know, it was kind of hot in here. So I'm sorry if it, um, it's not so clear to you guys, but hopefully you still can hear me, okay? Make sure you guys subscribe if you are not, okay? Thank y'all so very much for all your support. Hey, Divine Masculine. What's up, Divine Masculine? Y'all know y'all stay in my readings. Y'all know that. Y'all stay supporting the bitch. Okay? We have synergy coming out. And thank you for all the compliments on my nails ahead of time. Because I know y'all finna be complimenting me like hell. Thank you. For some reason, my camera is kind of crooked. Maybe I'm trying to get it like focused, like right in the middle. But whatever. Y'all leave me alone with these damn cars. Leave me alone. Divine fam, leave me alone. Masculine, leave me alone. Okay. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see these things and make sure they're not crooked. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can see what the hell they say. So, um, yeah, you got, it's crazy because you got divine family and masculine here. <clears throat> Let me turn this fan down. Welcome to the reading, Mother Focus. We have synergy here coming out. We got synergy. Root chakra, divine feminine, universal love, alchemy, perception, and then divine masculine. Hmm. I can't lie to you. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Fantasia. Yes, I love it, babe. I love this divine energy. Um, I want to say teaming up, but lining up, okay? I like the fact that this energy is lining up together. With your root chakra, universal love, perception, and alchemy, with synergy too, you got synergy and alchemy out here. Whoever you are, you're definitely a master. And I mean a master manifester anything that you want it sh it truly does just show up right it does i don't care what you say you got the cosmic flower this beautiful unknown gift that you have and a lot of y'all be questioning yourself like well how the hell did that happen or how did i ha uh, how did i know that or something I'm not for sure exactly your thoughts, but I can guess, okay? A lot of y'all really be wondering how shit be happening, just like out of nowhere. It's called blessings. Something that you do, maybe like a, um, I wanna say a ritual, but it's a superstition, which is a ritual, technically, you know? Or something that you go by. You're very superstitious with something. And maybe that is what has been carrying you, you know, all this time. Maybe. Who knows? But let's see why this energy is here. You definitely manifested something. This could be you coming together with your divine feminine and masculine energy. Or this could physically be divine feminine and masculine coming together. The thinking woman. You got our angels here, cornucopia. Yeah, your angels are pretty much done doing something here. Somebody had to go in order for somebody to come in. Yeah, financial constraints in the reverse. So not only did you get rid of a major problem, 
you got over a heartbreak. You've been supported this whole time, right? And, you know, not only did you get through that, but your finances have literally changed. Something here with your finances. And maybe somebody was trying to knock you out of alignment with a manifestation or a goal or something, which is a manifestation truly. You had a lot of patience on this journey, bro. And I want y'all to give y'all selves more credit than you have been recently. I want to say these past nine months, you have not given yourself the credit you deserve. You've been doing an amazing job. I heard for the situation ahead, given the, given the circumstances, you've been doing a very excellent job here, okay? I seen five, five, five. You're definitely determined, you're focused. Um, if not, you will be. The universe truly appreciates everything that you've done, the things that you're doing. And I'm gonna keep putting out these positive messages because I know at times I can be very harsh. It's not towards you. It's towards the energies that are opposing to you. Because I be having to let a motherfucker know, look, hey, uh-uh, hey, nah, no. That's not what's going to happen. Indeed, you are a master manifester is what I heard and said. But <clears throat> you got somebody who feels like they're stronger than you or they keep trying to test your strength. So a woman holding a coin, um, well, a coin too, but a woman holding a heart in the reverse for anybody. A person has no love. They will never have any. They sold it. And that's why they're having so much conflict and defeat, but they want to blame y'all. Let me get some Florida water for this thirsty bitch. Let me truly douse in some Florida water for this thirsty bitch or this thirsty nigga here. Somebody's very thirsty to know every move you're making. Um, seems to me like they're trying to keep up with an image. You know, not necessarily anything to do about what it is you're doing. They're conflicted and defeated here because they've been deceptive to other people. You may not know nothing about this. Somebody was putting on a show is what they heard. They were performing so well until the actual motherfucker came to the real motherfucker came. This ain't no documentary, no biography. You are the real motherfucker. Somebody was trying to live your life. Somebody's literally about to get caught up trying to live your life. And people going to be looking at them crazy as fuck. Somebody is dead ass looking at you like, how dare you? How the fuck dare you rest on your throne? How the hell dare you be comfortable in your skin? That's my skin. I'm you. Kind of energy. It's a crazy hoe. This person here. They didn't choose wisely when it came to a situation. So now they're facing the consequences. Somebody cannot perform. And I've said this numerous times. The universe is at play and they have no authority. This is what I'm saying. Some way, somehow, divine them masculine. You guys are being, I heard, drafted. First round pick is what the fuck I heard. Somebody could literally play football. But... It's some kind of um, getting together, partnering up with somebody that you're supposed to be doing. And this is happening. It's been the energy for a minute. This has been in the energy for a while. I've been, look, the waiting game. I've been picking this energy up for a minute. This high priestess and high, uh, high fun. These two spiritual religious leaders here. When something is of God, it's never going to be deceptive. Let me tell you. He won't lie to you. He won't lead you on or anything like that. These people out here partnering up with these low vibrations and they refuse to partner with God knowing that God is always going to win. It's just something that's telling these people that this shit will work or something. Gotta be. And the reward must be truly great if that's what they think they're going to get. And they, you know, go through all of this shit to pursue something that just never will flourish. This shit right here is about to be ended immediately. Okay? Okay. Something is about to just completely fall apart where it already has. 
and it may be uh, this masculine energy leaving somebody. Yeah, a child. Somebody found out a child wasn't theirs, and that's why this person is leaving. So you karmic cross watching cross eyed bitches. This is why this masculine is leaving because it's not his child. You're left in poverty in the cold out <clears throat> because this is not this masculine's baby. And I feel you knew good and well this was him trying to put a nigga on child support and that's not even your child. What the fuck is wrong with you hoes? But see, it was all due to manipulation and control. This person is a master manipulator. You're a master manifester. It's a difference. You're official. They're not. But they're officially in poverty. This DNA test is official. This is some real shit going on here. This is real shit. This is real shit going on. Real life events. Straight up. And you're getting sudden wealth. I'm getting so many downloads right now about you, Fem Masculine. Um, because I just feel so much has been left out to you guys. You know, there's been so many things being left out to you. These things, all cars are flying on the floor. Concerned. Somebody wants you um, to know something and it's gonna concern you maybe to be regarding a child or somebody in your family or somebody or something. It's just, it's news here, it's a message, but it's not gonna make you happy, okay? It's gonna bring you into a very low vibration. You could be getting news that somebody went to jail, 1144 I seen. You could literally be getting some kind of news about somebody going to jail, it could be something regarding a home. They could have gotten picked up at their home or something. Yeah, this person have to go nowhere to get their ass locked up. He folded up, kicked in the goddamn door right here, straight up. Yeah, somebody done got a divorce as well. And see, you're not in despair because you stop going around these people. It's like you're working on yourself every day. Everybody's being judged. And this is, like I said, your family. I, I kind of figured that because anytime this energy comes up, it's normally family. It's very sad, or somebody that you have a family with. That's still family, right, technically? This could be somebody you have a family with, or, you know, whatever. All this shit came on cards. Thank you, Lord, for my long arms and legs, honey, because, uh, <coughs> excuse me, you got bad health coming out here. There's that message of concern here to you. This could be also somebody trying to date you or something. They may reach out to you, but I feel like this ain't got nothing to do with that. This could be somebody that you're dating or about to be dating that's going through this. Okay, here, don't have to be you necessarily. It could be somebody that's attached to you. I heard energetically. Girl, if another damn car is flying on the damn floor, child. Something is coming up real quick. And that's how I kind of figured it's the shit going up. I mean, like, damn near every car and it's fell on the damn floor. And I'm clearly shuffling up here. And it's all due to your hard work. You know, you've been working. You haven't bowed down to nobody, bro. You didn't go running scared from nobody. You stood up for yourself. You stood your ground. These bitches are going to jail. They're going to have to, something's about to change with these hoes. Your kids, they going to jail. You motherfuckers going broke. And it was all over a gift that was yours that they tried to steal. This is what I'm saying. And I just really wish that this energy would stop showing up because it's just, it's tiring to keep reading the same shit over and over. These people will never learn until they're on the chopping block. For most of y'all, these people have already been through something. Like, something has already happened. You may not know about it. I might just be telling you about it, but you know, these people been in courthouse situations. They've been going to court for shit. I heard since last year. These folk been going to court, bro, regarding whatever the fuck this is. Either going to court trying to claim shit in your name or going to court trying to fucking fight some shit that was, you know, brought up against you. Whatever the case may be. This shit has been going on. Whatever this is, is not new at all. The secret path here. You gotta first find yourself. You gotta be willing to, to, to walk through doors that ain't so familiar. You gotta get out of your comfort zone. 
your ancestors are like, you know what, we here, but yeah, you gotta go find this on your own because we've been trying to show you something, how magical the fuck you are, and you're just not listening, so you're just gonna have to follow the secret path. You're gonna have to, but I feel like your, your ancestors, bro, they're never gonna just leave you alone to just fall in a hole, but they're gonna make sure that you get close enough and be able to use your discernment to be able to decipher what the hell they try to tell you. And you have to go down this path because it's leading somewhere, okay? Slow down, grounding, listen for the heartbeat of the earth, subtle energies here. It's a lot of people going through a lot of shit because of what they did to you. They should have literally left you alone. That's what I feel. I was on a reading last night and it really got to me a little bit because, you know, I'm just like, you know, bro, you people really don't even have to go through this kind of karma. Y'all ain't gotta go through this shit, but y'all take yourselves through it. If that's what you wanna go through just to try to prove a point to somebody that ain't even paying you no attention, then do so. Who the fuck sits up here and does all of this for someone who's paying them no mind at all? It's a mother and a daughter energy here. So this could be somebody and their mother. Somebody could be becoming a brand new mother. Congrats, fam. Congrats, uh, masculine. On your uh, wife or your uh, girlfriend being pregnant here. Congratulations, guys. Embrace the natural. I heard embrace the natural because there's so much fake ass shit out here, bro. Embrace the shit that's natural. That real natural love. You have magical help on the way. Somebody is going to just come out of the blue, I feel. Maybe with this information. Now, this this information is truly your wish fulfillment because a lot of y'all have been solely manifesting the truth. You want to know the fucking truth about who you are, about who your family is, about where you came from. But see, look, seriously, you got to go through that secret doorway and trust them. You got to trust and believe and know that you know what you're doing because God knows what he's doing. He wants you to know what you're doing because you are him. If he doesn't test you, if you don't take some losses, if, if he doesn't mold you to the warrior that he needs you to be, you'll never know his voice. It's all about being able to hear God because that's who's telling you how to navigate, okay, through life. God knows everything that's ahead of us, okay, here. Now, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, part of the deck. That's cool. Because like I was feeling, you're you're so loved by the universe, bro. And you got somebody who truly loves, adores, respects, admires, cares about you here too. Might have not met this person yet. You could be in um, contact with this person, but this is your divine feminine, your divine masculine. You both are going through the same thing in a way, is what I want to say, okay? Yeah, the world part. There's an ending here. And this thing's ending because it's time for something else to begin. Like I said in another reading, time is really of the essence right now because it's, it's bro, it's so much shit going on. You have to pick a side. You have to know where it is you fit. You fit anywhere you want because you're equipped to do everything. But it's like where you fit without trying, where you belong, rather. You have to find where you belong, okay? There's some secrets coming out. And some gonna turn in your favor, okay? People are thinking that something is about to work out for them. It's not. I don't get where the hell these people keep believing they need to use this faith that they got in thinking that they're getting away with some shit and actually believing in some shit. Actually believing God for what he said. I've seen 1919. Now, this is very, very strange because I've never gotten a spread quite like this. For divine feminine and masculine to line up with each other and then you also have the king of cups and the queen of cups. These are two very loving individuals here. But see, somebody doesn't want an offer to be made. This is a karmic energy. People were doing so much to, you know, uh, stop your love life or whatever, or get in the way of it, uh, prolong some shit for you. They wanted to leave you out in the cold, you know, from an offer or whatever. 
basically whatever entails you moving, you're forward moving. Anything that indicates that you're moving forward, they're trying to block it. Anytime you can sit here and wait on something. When you wait on God and know that he got some shit for you, people don't like that. They don't like your faith. Because with faith comes the favor. Maybe they should get some faith because they want your favor. That's what people truly want. They want your favor. They want things to work out for them like it does for you. But it's not designed that way because they don't have faith. They don't even believe that good things can happen to them. They don't believe that they can truly love somebody or be loved. That's why they don't have it. Motherfuckers need to change their perspective is what I think. Yeah, it's time for something. The Wheel of Fortune. You got the Wheel of Fortune and then you have the Ace of Wands here. Something that should be so easy. Somebody is trying to make the shit so goddamn hard. This could be you. This may be you or this may be the person that you're dealing with. I don't know. But somebody <clears throat> is just doing too much. They're investing in some shit that's just not going to work. I'm just telling you. These two people will be together. Why is this relationship so goddamn important? I need you motherfuckers to unite. I just really do because I just really want to see what the fuck y'all finna do. I, because it's a lot of people, bro. When I tell you, you have so many motherfucking haters. Clarify this will of fortune, please. I want to see what this will of fortune is. What's the will of fortune here, daddy? For divine fam, divine masculine, and or the cross washer, whomever. So you got to know if I'm excited and I don't even know you motherfucker. Guess who know you and they see this shit coming. Guess how they feel, okay? I'm truly intrigued by this energy in a way. Because what is it about this two of cups, ten of pentacles? People keep trying to block. It's definitely a two of cups. And you got a whole community of motherfuckers trying to block this. What's the uh, will of fortune here? The moon is hidden. I can't even find out what the fuck this is. Somebody just knows something is going on. It ain't me. Oh, okay. Thank you, daddy. It ain't meant for you to know, motherfucker. It's a blessing. It's a surprise. He's like, why would I tell you? Shanita, you talk too damn much, baby. You talk too much for me. I leave my empress. I love you. But see, I can't illuminate some things to you because you just talk too much. And I do. And I do. Okay. I just do. What else is this Will of Fortune here? Look, he just gave me a card saying, the moon, it's a secret. And my dumb ass still trying to clarify. Hey, that's some shit, two of ones. He's like, well, you just gonna be sitting back waiting, baby. Just know it's twin flames, these fires here. And there's a little baby. There's a baby about to be born. Yeah, Knight of Cups. He's like, yeah, I already, I just, clearly shows you that it's the moon energy. You don't need to dig in and see shit. You talk too much. Ain't that funny, bro? How I was not intending to be disobedient, but that was still a form of disobedience. In a way, you know what I'm saying? Because he just clearly gave me the moon card. Like, okay, it's a secret. And my dumb ass is still trying to figure out the secret. You know what I'm saying? Unintentionally, I wasn't thinking of it, you know, in a accept the matter but hey it just is what it is but I always get put in my place so you can only imagine how these motherfuckers are getting put in their place okay let's get a couple more cards to clarify and then we're gonna get out of here you guys just keep doing what you've been doing is what I'm saying this is a counter but it's a, a couple coming together no matter who the fuck is trying to stop or block some shit somebody uh, wants to have you in a love triangle here but they ended up being in a love triangle with legal issues. It's them, the courts, and God, and a few more other motherfuckers that they keep including, okay? Because they're doing spell work on the um, judges too. These people are weird as hell. There's some weird shit right here. Same shit, different day, like I just felt. 
somebody's trying to do this shit every day, block you off or something, and they have a low ass IQ trying to do this. How the hell are you dumb as hell trying to figure out something? You're confused as fuck. That's why, see, these people are so fucking stupid. And in their head, they come out trying to copy off of you and do the shit that you're doing because it works for you and think that it's going to work for them. You clearly are tripping. And they do this every day because they're not shit. They don't got shit else to do. These folks really be on this type of shit, bro. Like, it don't be coming up in a reading for no reason. These folks really be on this low vibration shit. They be having bad ass habits and shit. Like, for real, hard drugs and shit. Hard drugs, hard liquor and shit. I heard Mike's hard lemonade. Oh, these motherfuckers drinking cheap. That's why they confuse these motherfuckers. They, they insides is goddamn uneven. You drink, you you over there getting drunk off Mike's hard lemonade and then go and try to harass a divine feminine or a masculine? What the fucking hell is wrong with these folks? These folks are stopping every movie made, trying to get the inside scoop. Mad at hell because they might have been trying to marry somebody for money and then it ended up ending or, or this person might have found out and it ended. Something like that. But they want to know. How the hell this person got so, I heard, woke, so hip. How did this person get so hip to the spiritual side of things? They're fed up with hearing about Divine Fam. This person, this person definitely has gotten a lot of their um, navigation from you. This person was able to make a whole lot of decisions before they fucked their life up because of the advice that you give or something. You definitely could be in the public eye, okay? I heard YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, maybe Facebook, yeah. These people will be reflecting, sad as fuck, surely, because they're played out. They talking shit, of course, but they're crying too. Who the fuck talk shit and cry? You can't even talk when you cry, bitch. This person is a professional manipulator. They'll be right in fucking jail and you'll be hustling. They've been hating on your spirituality the whole time but was trying to mimic it. How? How in the hell? If you read cards, this whole this nigga start reading cards too. If you, you know, uh, spread the word, do Bible study, whatever, this person started doing the same as that thing. Anything you do spiritually. But see, what they were doing was wasting time because this, this is not their path. It's not meant for them to be walking on this path. Yeah, this is not their path. They're not. But see, they keep traveling in your direction for some reason because they need your energy to harvest. These people been using your energy for so fucking long. These people literally are having withdrawal family. Like I said, somebody need to come in and kiss your ass now, but you're going to add cold to these people. A lot of y'all gonna have to put a motherfucker in jail that's in your family. You gonna have to literally press charges. And God gonna see what you gonna do. Drama starter. Somebody might try to bring up something from your past or something. Just to offset what the fuck is really going on. No. You know how people do. But you're too busy winning. Anything you do, if you, if any of you have any kind of, uh, and I'm talking to the Divine Fail Masculine, if you have any kind of court case or anything coming up pending, you will be definitely, uh, I heard freed from whatever this is. The case is going to get thrown out in some kind of miraculous ass way. Because you're an idol and they're fucking groupies. You're an idol and they're groupies. You see all them groupies and this, they're groupies. These people wish, they wish like hell you would pay them some attention to argue with they school fast. And in the clouds, on the floor. They're thinking of all kind of ways here to get out of something. They can't like whatever this is is set in stone. They had already, they had already signed up for for karmic debt. Like when they made you an enemy, bro. Like these people went into immediate karma. God would definitely let you feel like you are getting away with some shit, and He would hit your ass with that shit. You want to get your shit? These people are uninterested in their own selves and keep trying to force themselves into your field. And it's all due to this fucking masculine or this feminine that you're supposed to be with coming up soon. 
I just really feel like that. I don't know why this says forcer, but I was seeing the word forever. I don't know why, but whatever, significant to someone. Your unfazed remain that way. These folks are really truly stressed the fuck out because they like, well, what's about to happen for them? I know it's something good. All the, all the fucked up shit I have been doing to this person and they still made it out. You don't think these people would just sit back and just start, you know, learning from you at some point, the fuck? Because your strength is unmatched. And they, it's like, they like, well, fuck. We, we be teaming up on this motherfucker. They still come out, you know, stronger than ever. Yeah, maybe you should be taking notes. But see, it's this person's last time. They cried wolf for the last time. These people do too much. They don't think water is wet, bro. Straight up. These people truly have been trying, God, bro. Like, the energy I'm feeling, I would slap the shit out of a bitch. For real, in real life, real time. HD shit, I would slap the fuck out of you. If I ever felt like you was just doing all this shit and you were mocking God. Yeah. The games these people fucking play. The games they play. They be coming in from fake accounts and all kind of stupid ass shit right here, fam masculine. They do this shit only because you're an idol. You're idolized, you're noticed by people. This person was trying to get people to believe that they were you. AKA these fake ass pages. And now people are ignoring their asses because they know that it's not you. It's some kind of signature that you have and people know that it's just not you. This person can't no longer steal your blessings or anything like that. They can't imitate you now. Now what will they do? They're out partying now, drinking and smoking, throwing their life away here. All because you're an idol, because you're loved, respected, admired. People are fans of yours here. And I don't know bad way. I don't feel like it's a bad way, but I just feel like, you know, people need to put some respect on your name, bro, because you've truly done a whole lot of work. They're just holding grudges, but see, they're only holding grudges because it's the energy that they're in. They're this low vibration going to jail and shit. They're holding grudges against you because you're just simply uninterested. And they want to come fishing in your comments. They want to see who's commenting. They want to see who, you, who shit you commenting on. And you will always be uninterested in this kind of energy but they want you to pay them so much attention. That's why this shit is falling down truly. You know, whatever it is you manifested, like I said, it's the truth. Some shit that's about to literally come out and shut some shit down. And you had already spoken this. You finna get so much notoriety is what I heard just off of you speaking this shit and it coming true. I heard the word prophecy. All because of you speaking this shit and it came to pass. You're going to have so much notoriety, respect, recognition. People are literally um, going to be just throwing money at you is what I heard. And you ain't no stripper. They're going to literally just be throwing money. And that's going to be a permanent phase you're in. This is whatever this is you're moving towards is permanent. It's not going to be like you're going to have to move. Not like how you are right now. Basically just kind of. You don't know what it is you want to truly do for real, but you can do whatever you want. Our angel Michael is here for saving you. You're definitely gifted as fuck. You're the golden child. And see, these people know this. Our angel Michael has been sent here to protect the golden child. You've let go of addictions. You've been doing a lot of work, bro. Time is up. And see, these motherfuckers know it too. They know time is fucking up. It's up for these people. They were doing spell work. You've been cleansing your space. All you do is make sure you're good because you see how many people don't give a fuck about you, okay? <laughs> this shit all be for their own benefit and for your demise. That shit will never happen. God will never, ever leave you hanging, especially when he led you somewhere. Look, be still and know that I am God. I can't lie. When God is taking you somewhere, do you really think he don't know what he's doing? And I don't care what nobody may say about these cars or whatever, honey. I love my daddy. And you can't take the bond I have with him away from me. And that's one thing you hoes don't like either. I can speak on my daddy when the fuck I want. Because that's my daddy. Period. 
You didn't create the bond I had with him. I did, bitch. I did the work. And see, that's the thing about it. People don't want to do the work. They want to go and feel like because they've studied the Bible, they know it in and out that their followers... No, you're not. It's a conspiracy. You bitches are making up shit. You're planning shit. You're using the Bible... You're using the Bible and the times of the Bible to do fucking witchcraft and shit. Somebody's name is Timothy, okay? You can know somebody named Timothy. We have a boo named Timothy, okay? But you about to get a new house, like I felt too. The karmic is still plotting, we know this. This is not ever gonna not come out. This is never not gonna come out in this, in this readings. That's a permanent thing. This person is always gonna plot, but the, the shit will always fail. It will always fail. Like a past tense fall, period. The shit here is just, it, it, to me, it don't make no sense, but to them it do, so hey, whatever. So you just don't, to help you sleep at night, bitch. You're a truth teller, and they're liars. People don't like this. Somebody ain't said or somebody's in Florida, or somebody could be wanting to move there. Or this might be where your boo is. Awesome. Our angel Michael fell on the floor. So, hey. Look, they still talking shit. That's what Spirit said. It's Aquarius. It's Aquarius ass nigga. Or this bitch. They, they sit back going through bad ass karma. Still talking shit about you. But they can't. They ain't got nothing to truly say about you. Now that these hoes used to talk bad on your name. Now they talking shit about all the good shit. That you doing, okay? That God giving you. He also talking shit about what God done blessed you with. Psalm 91. The protection God has on your life. They talking shit about that. These hoes are orchestrating crimes. Think first. What did I just say? Conspiracy. Orchestrating crimes and shit. I seen the goddamn feds. You're a spiritual damn guru or your child is. Somebody's a, a guru. Okay, you just can't lose. There's no way you can miss. You can't. It's an ending of a karmic cycle here. And it, it's just over, you know? These, these people may show up in the energy, but in the end, when the reading is over, this goes back to showing how much you're protected and how your protection will protect you so far from when people think that you're by your motherfucking self, some supernatural shit will hit their ass. Straight the fuck up. These motherfuckers that get attacked by a damn wild beast or some shit roaming the streets fucking with you. Some shit that's just literally naturally hell. Just from them thinking that they're gonna come and do something to you. Harm you in any kind of way or try to stand in front of your destiny. Something very supernatural will happen. And this moon card is sticking out again with the Wheel of Fortune. I'm like, Daddy, well, what is this? He like, girl, none of your business. And my dumb ass was still trying to clarify it, and I still couldn't, okay? I wasn't allowed to do that. <laughs> I feel kind of disrespectful. I'm sorry, Dad. If that was disrespectful, I truly apologize. Because I wasn't thinking. I was just going along with clarifying the cards. But you have to be on point. You have to be on your P's and Q's when you're doing this kind of work. Because this shit requires the truth. The truth. Okay? You have to tell people the truth. You can't be misleading people. You know, and a lot of these folks that be copycatting, that's why I don't like that because I feel like if you got to sit up here and steal or copy off someone else, you're not original, so you're not a leader. So you just basically sit up here copying and then you're going and doing what you saw somebody else do and you're trying to capitalize off of that. That's very fake to me. It's weak. You know? And then you try to you try to sit up here and do so much shit to a person to cause them heartache and loss. And then, you know, you, you crying when they spiritual team tear your ass up. So divine feminine and masculine here. Truly. Okay. Somebody is a damn magician, literally. This person can make shit disappear, make shit float, and all type of shit. This masculine can. This masculine is a magician. Period. You both are in a sense, but this person, this, this, this fucking masculine, these two people are a, a threat, period. But this person here, oh shit. That's 
all I can say. Oh, snap, Fergie. For real. Oh, snap. This motherfucking masculine. Whoever the hell this damn masculine energy is, this person is a magician. But they're not dark. You know what I'm saying? They're not a dark magician. Look, they're a magician, but they're not a dark one. I just felt that. And that shit came right on out. And you also do have a dark ass magician, but this, this person is not. They're the king of wands. This person uses their gifts to accumulate shit. That's why they're so fucking low. You got some other motherfuckers in your energy that one don't work. They one do not work, bro. Straight up, they one does not work only because of their intentions towards you and other people. Okay, here. So I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, make sure y'all leave a comment, like, share, subscribe to your, okay, make sure y'all too motherfucking messenger. Okay. My cash up is definitely in my community tab. Okay. I'm going to start linking that information in these videos because I know a lot of y'all be uh, emailing me asking me what my cash up is. It's on my community tab. Or you can simply uh, leave a super thanks. Okay. I have the thanks on. That's, it's like a comment, but it's like a tip too. So you can um, leave a tip that way as well. And also tips are likes, shares, comments, subscribes, you know? So just let me get some of that good energy back, you know, that I'm giving out to you guys. Okay? I really appreciate you. And I will see you guys.